Gravity and Parity, Wikipedia article audio In biology and human medicine, gravity and parity are the number of times a female is or has been pregnant and carried the pregnancies to a viable gestational age. These terms are usually coupled, sometimes with additional terms, to indicate more details of the woman's obstetric history. When using these terms, Gravidity Parity Nolly Parity Recording Systems Criticism In human medicine, gravidity refers to the number of times a woman has been pregnant, regardless of whether the pregnancies were interrupted or resulted in a live birth. Terms such as gravita zero, referring to a nolly gravita, gravita 1 for a primi gravita, and so on, can also be used. The term elderly primi gravita has also been used to refer to a woman in her first pregnancy, who is at least 35 years old. Advanced maternal age can be a risk factor for some birth defects. In biology, the term gravid is used to describe the condition of an animal when carrying eggs internally. For example, Astatotalopia burdeni females can transform between reproductive states, one of which is gravid, and the other non-gravid. In entomology it describes a mated female insect. Parity is the number of pregnancies carried to viable gestational age. A woman who has never carried a pregnancy beyond 20 weeks is nulliparous and is called a nullipara or para zero. A woman who has given birth once before is primiparous, and is referred to as a primipara or primip. Moreover, a woman who has given birth two or more times is multiparous and is called a multip. Finally, grand multipara describes the condition of having given birth three or more times. Like gravidity, Parity may also be counted. A woman who has given birth one or more times can also be referred to as para 1, para 2, para 3, and so on. Viable gestational age varies from region to region. In agriculture, parity is a factor in productivity in domestic animals kept for milk production. Animals that have given birth once are described as primiparous. Those that have given birth more than once are described as pluriparous. Those that have given birth twice may also be described as secundiparous, in which case pluriparous is applied to those that have given birth three times or more. A nulliparous woman has never given birth. Prolonged nulliparity is a risk factor for breast cancer. For instance, a meta-analysis of eight population-based studies in the Nordic countries found that nulliparity was associated with a 30% increase in risk of breast cancer compared with Paris women, and for every two births, the risk was reduced by about 16%. Women having their first birth after the age of 35 years had a 40% increased risk compared to those with a first birth before the age of 20 years. A number of systems are incorporated into a woman's obstetric history to record the number of past pregnancies and pregnancies carried to viable age. These include Though similar, GPA should not be confused with the TPAL system, the latter of which may be used to provide information about the number of miscarriages, preterm births, and live births by dropping the A from GPA and including four separate numbers after the P, as in G5P3114. This TPAL form indicates five pregnancies, with three term births, one preterm birth, one induced abortion or miscarriage and for living children. In humans, it can lead to some ambiguity for events occurring between 20 and 24 weeks, and for multiple pregnancies. 
Gravita indicates the number of times a woman is or has been pregnant, regardless of the pregnancy outcome. A current pregnancy, if any, is included in this count. Twin pregnancy is counted as one, parity, or para indicates the number of pregnancies reaching viable gestational age. The number of fetuses does not determine the parity. Twin pregnancy carried to viable gestational age is counted as one, abortus is the number of pregnancies that were lost for any reason, including induced abortions or miscarriages. The abortus term is sometimes dropped when no pregnancies have been lost. Stillbirths are not included. The term gravita can be used to refer to a pregnant woman, a nulli gravita is a woman who has never been pregnant, a primi gravita is a woman who is pregnant for the first time or has been pregnant one time, a multi gravita or second gravita is a woman who has been pregnant more than one time. The gravita slash para slash abortus system, or sometimes just gravita slash para, is one such shorthand. For example, when recording the history of a woman who has had two pregnancies, it would be noted as G2P2. The obstetric history of a woman who has had four pregnancies, one of which was a miscarriage before 20 weeks, would be noted as G4P3A1. That of a woman who has had one pregnancy of twins with successful outcomes would be noted as G1P1. TPAL is one of the methods to provide a quick overview of a female's obstetric history. In TPAL, the T refers to term births, the P refers to premature births, the A refers to abortions, and the L refers to living children. When reported, the abortions number refers to the total number of spontaneous or induced abortions and miscarriages, except ectopic pregnancies, prior to 20 weeks. If a fetus is aborted after 20 weeks, spontaneously or electively, then it is counted as a premature birth and P will increase but L will not. The TPAL is described by numbers separated by hyphens. Multiple births count as one birth, but each living child is counted separately. For example, a pregnant woman who carried one pregnancy to term with a surviving infant, carried one pregnancy to 35 weeks with surviving twins, carried one pregnancy to 9 weeks as an ectopic pregnancy, and has three living children would have a TPAL annotation of T1, P1, A1. L3. This could also be written as 1 1 1 3. The term KPAL is used when the TPAL is prefixed with gravidity, and KPAM when KPAL is followed by number of multiple pregnancies. For example, gravidity and parity of a woman who has given birth at term once and has had one miscarriage at 12 weeks would be recorded as G2T1P0A1L1. This notation is not standardized and can lead to misinterpretations.